and welcome back to Lift Your Spirits. I'm Chantel, aka Miss Gloss, and today I'm bringing you a special quarantine show. Mmm. <coughs> yeah, keep your ass in the house. Alright, so I know I've been gone for quite a long time. Uh, I went to Aruba, and then I fell off the face of the earth, according to y'all, but I'm good. I just was a little under the weather, and then I just didn't feel like it. So, now I'm back, and let's see what we can do with this video. So, while we're all stuck in the house, I've been trying to think of things to do, since it's only me and my son, it's only the two of us, and I try to avoid him at all costs. So, what did I do? I decided to make me some liquor. Yes, I did. So, last summer, I wanted to try infusing my vodka and I started out, I did a strawberry basil and I did a blueberry lemon, but they didn't quite come out the way I wanted them to. So I figured this year, I'll take a little bit more time. I'm stuck at home. Let me figure out what I'm really supposed to do, how I wanted to integrate. So I decided I really wanted to try a raspberry lemon infusion. Um, I had went to Cheesecake Factory with a girlfriend and my baby and they had a raspberry lemon vodka martini. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to try this at home. So I came home and I already have vodka on hand. Now this is Kirkland's vodka. It's probably about 20 bucks. Um, it's more of like their Grey Goose, their upper level. The other kind is more like Absolute, their lower level. So I wanted to upgrade it this time. Last summer I used the lower level Kirkland, so I decided to try the upper level Kirkland's this year. So, I also wanted to see what's best to use, fresh or frozen fruit. Now, now that it's done, so here's the frozen and here's the fresh. There's a very little difference you can tell in the two. Um, even as far as taste, you can't even really tell the difference in the taste of the two. So, I decided, hey, frozen is the easiest thing to keep on hand, so from now on I'll go with frozen. But I wanted to show you guys how I did this. So, sorry, uh, yeah, y'all know me, I already started drinking today. You get locked up for two days, for a week, and one kid in the house all day, and you tell me how you feel. Here we go. So, to infuse the vodka, what you're gonna do is add about a cup and a half of raspberries. Today I'm gonna use the frozen because that's what I have in the house. I wasn't going to the store. So y'all gonna get what I got. I'm giving you. All right. And we're gonna start with just the raspberries in there. And we're gonna put about two cups of vodka into the bottle. I am not precise with this. Maybe two cups. I'm at the end of the bottle, so I'm gonna put all the rest of it in there. That's life, people. You roll with it, okay? So, with this, we close this up, and we let this sit just with the raspberries for, for, for about four days. You're gonna shake the jar up daily. Every day you go in there to mix this all up, now see the difference with frozen fruit versus fresh fruit, even on the first day, you just saw me mix this, you can already see it mixing. So with frozen fruit, it breaks down faster. I feel like in the end, it, it all evens out, so what difference does it make? Now, after this has been sitting for four days, you go in and you add a half a lemon. And I halved the half of lemon. So that way it can integrate even better. And after seven complete days, you end up with some nice infused vodka. So now that I have a finished product, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can use your own homemade infused vodka so you can have a night. 
to remember. I'll be right back. Okay, and welcome back. So the first drink we're gonna make with our raspberry lemon infused vodka will be our raspberry lemon drop martini. Okay, this is something super elegant. You put up your pinky when you drinking it. You know what I'm saying? You make it for brunch when your home girls come over. You could tell, I, I made that vodka, who you asking? What? Okay, here we go. So first things first, is we're gonna coat the rim of our glass with using our lemon. Now some people use water and all this. Look, I'm using what I'm gonna use in my drink anyway. Less waste. So we rimmed it, and now we're gonna just put it into our sugar. And I use this Domino sugar. It's a super fine sugar, quick dissolving, and it just makes it all the better. I'm a girl who, even when I get my margaritas, I get it with sugar. I'm not a girl that gets it with salt. Get more bees with honey. Now that we have the glass coated wonderfully, what we're gonna do is take our shaker, gonna add a little bit of ice. We're gonna add to the ice three ounces of our raspberry lemon vodka. We're gonna make a mess. You know, that's all part of it. A big mess. And then we're gonna add to that some simple syrup. Now you only need about a tablespoon, so don't go crazy, you don't want this Super sweet, just enough sweet that it makes for a really good martini. Gonna put that top on there and we gonna shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Uh, uh. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. And remember, we're always doing it in the shaker so it can get super cold, super fast, and it mixes up your ingredients so much better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this into our glass because we don't want the ice. This is a martini. Shake it, not stirred. Mm. Now, we're gonna top that off with just a splash of 7-Up, okay? Just give it that little bub, and we're gonna garnish with our lemon. When I can get it on there. And here we have a raspberry lemon drop martini. Ooh, I'm gonna be on a couch concert tonight, baby. Y'all better ask somebody. All right, next, we got, I'm gonna put that one right there for you. Next, we gonna make us a shot. We got a raspberry lemon drop shot. So grab a good old shot glass. To our shaker, we're gonna put a little bit of ice. We're mixing up essentially the same drink. We're just serving it. A little different way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so for this, we're gonna use a <clears throat> ounce and a half of our raspberry lemon infused vodka that we apparently like to waste on the table. We're gonna use only about a teaspoon Maybe even less of the simple syrup, but we wanted a little sweet. Just a little. Not a lot. And we're gonna shake that up. If you don't move while you shake it, is your hip hurt? You gotta move. Okay, braids everywhere, headache. Okay, we're gonna strain this into our shot glass. All right. And 
here's our raspberry lemon drop shot. <laughs> And good night. And we got one more drink to go. Y'all better ask somebody. Today is real. All right. We got one more drink for you. And it is going to be a raspberry lemonade. Of course. I mean, life wouldn't be right without a lemonade. So we're going to add a little bit more ice. Because, again, this is essentially the same drink. We just started it different ways. So, let me go down to the dungeon. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, so what we're going to take is three ounces of the no, we're doing two ounces, I'm sorry. We're doing two ounces of the raspberry lemonade. Okay. Next, we're gonna take three ounces of lemonade. Now, y'all know me. I love my Simply Juices. I'm not gonna apologize for it. Shake it up so you can get all them good bits at the bottom. And we're gonna take three ounces of the lemonade. Alrighty, and we're gonna hit it with a teaspoon of our simple syrup just to give it a little sweetness just a little not a lot lemonade already has sugar in it but we don't want to go overboard come on join me and shake 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 your booty shake your booty shake 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 your booty, shake your booty. All right, let's get our drink on. Got a glass. So we're just gonna pour all the contents into the glass because we want the ice for this trick. We got our ice. We're gonna garnish with a few raspberries. Those same frozen raspberries we used to make this drink, we can use to garnish the drink. And we're gonna take our lemon wedge, cause you know we're all about making our drinks pretty. And here you have raspberry lemonade. How you doing? explore three different options with your own homemade infused raspberry lemon day vodka now coming up in booze clues stay tuned because i got something i know you guys have been looking for thanks see you soon what up welcome back to booze clues where i show you the diamonds in the rough that i just dug through and found just for you so, I'm in my local liquor store, as per usual. Um, and I came about barefoot, and now they have a fruit scotto. Fruit scotto, what? Huh? You know me, so I had to try it. I got the watermelon flavor and the peach flavor to try out. So we, because I'm here for you. try this watermelon together actually I was thinking honestly when I saw this I was thinking it could possibly make a very good sangria mixed with the watermelon Ciroc that was my thought process when I first saw this so 
I'll take y'all down my train. That's how my train starts. What can I mix it with if it's not good on its own? <laughs> it sounds so terrible, but it's so true.